This is a moment of the truth. This is a moment that I have been waiting for. This is the time to do the reveal of the final result of the columns that we just made. Guys, this thing is looking very good. I'm surprised with the results because honestly, I was not expecting for these things to look like this. They're looking good. And it means that we did a great job with these columns. Well, now that we know that we can crush this thing, let's just do the rest of them. You look at me like I'm crazy. But before we do that, we first need to open some holes in these metal plates. And if it was hard to cut these metal plates, I don't want to imagine how hard it is going to be. Open these holes with this little battery powered drill. So. <laughs> It may take me days. I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the We got the first little holes. And here's a fast tip for working with metal. You most of the time want to open um, the holes in the metal with a smaller bit like this one. This is not the final one that I'm going to use. I need to use this one. But it makes it easier when you go with a smaller one first and then you go uh, with the actual one that you really need to use. There's something different about the way we are. We got a situation right here. I just broke the drill bit. And this was the only one that I got yesterday. We are in lockdown today. We cannot go anywhere to get another one of these ones. And I just broke it. And something else, just the little spicy there in the top, just like. Psh. This bit was actually not the right one. What are you doing, Rats? So instead of stopping and just doing nothing for the rest of the day, I'm gonna work in a little project that I have been thinking about for the last two weeks. I live in a tree house in the middle of the jungle. What means that I have a lot of animals surrounding me. More specifically, a lot of birds. And I wanna build a bird feeder. I really want to see all these birds. I just hear them, but I would like to see them actually. So I'm build, I'm gonna build a small bird feeder. I even got the birds food the other day, thinking about building this somewhere in the future, and I have been spreading it around. Every morning when I wake up, I spread it around, and the birds just start coming and eating it. My only concern right now is this boy but mm, I'm not sure if he will reach the birds feeder and then try to eat the birds I, I will f I will think of something for him to be big, to have some space so I can walk, my PJs, all right, eight inches should be good.
We got this thing and as everything here in this jungle, like the tree house that is there, it needs to be A-frame shape. So this is the little A-frame bird's feeder. So no, I just need to wait until the first bird comes to get his food. I even add a little lid here with some water so if the bird that comes with the seeds wants some water, he will have some water here. I was thinking and put some like tequila or something like that, but I mean these birds are driving, I don't want them to crash, so just water. This is the situation, it is 6 o'clock, it is raining a little bit but I still have energy so I'm gonna work in these stairs that is one of those projects that I always leave for the Sundays and I never do them on the Sunday so as today is Sunday I'm gonna try to finish this thing it's basically just some stairs I'm using some of these uh, wooden logs just like regular trees that were falling around and I'm just cutting them and using them as uh, like supporting beams for the stairs Looks pretty cool, and now I can cross it out from my Sunday's checklist. Boys and girls! <laughs> Come on, Luca. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna be cooking my breakfast today with cow farts. This thing is called the biogas and this thing is full with water, cow poop and a lot of organic waste such as banana shells, a lot of fruits and a lot of that things and this thing is producing gas that is being stored in this bag. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna be cooking my food with cow farts, literally with cow farts. It tastes as good as if it were cooked in a regular stuff. I like it. I was supposed to work in the pillars for my house today, but I had a little complication. So the thing is that yesterday when I was opening the holes in the metal plates and my drill bit broke, I immediately took the decision in that exactly moment that I was gonna take those metal plates today to somebody in town that I know that has the machines and all the professional stuff to open those holes. So I took them this morning, I went over there, talked to him, and I was actually thinking 
that he could have these plates done by one o'clock or maybe two o'clock in the afternoon, but he had a lot of work to do before he even starts working in my metal plates. So he agreed to have those plates done by tomorrow, but in the meantime, I'm gonna need something to do because I cannot stay without doing anything today. So I did take my time to think and I remember that I haven't taken a shower in the last two days. So I thought that it was a good idea to build an outdoor shower. And after seeking for a spot here in this jungle, I found two spots. But I cannot decide which one or where to build my outdoor shower. I found this first one that is right next to an old tree that looks pretty cool. It doesn't have the crust, so it looks very, very cool. I also found this other one that is a little farther away from my house, but it has a pretty cool view from the valley. I think I have found the right way of how to choose where to put this outdoor shower. I'm gonna be asking to you guys, I'm gonna make a post on Patreon, and I'm gonna be asking to you guys of where would you like this outdoor shower to be. I really want you guys to be part of this journey and I think this is a good way of how to do it. And if you guys are not subscribed, you can go ahead and click the link in the top of the description of this video. This is another day. It's been beautiful, it's been pretty sunny. And it means I can continue working in the columns for the footers of my house. After I have this thing done, I'm going to start working in the platform that is going to involve a lot of welding. So I need to be ready for that. I need to be ready for the welding part and all the things that we have to do here. But in the meantime, I need to finish doing this thing as soon as it is possible. But before I start doing this, I first need to put the concrete bounding here in all these seismic beams. So all the concrete that I'm gonna put in here is gonna get well bounded to the O1 and also to the rebar structure. So the first thing that I need to do today is to start putting the wooden boxes that we built the other day in here. So with those wooden boxes, we are gonna keep the concrete uh, in the place and it's not gonna come out, it's not gonna get all messy because we want these columns to be uh, pretty squarey and beautiful. So we got the structures all set up and now I need to make some concrete and that's why I got the truck. I need to carry some gravel, sand, mix it with the cement and put some water to create a concrete and pour them in the structures that we use set up.
This is seven. Our tools are a very important part of what we do. Our tools and machines and cleaning them properly is very important for us. So every time that we use our tools, we try our best to clean them the best possible. Sometimes we are so tired, we are in a rush to do something else that we forget to do it, but it happens sometimes. Maybe today it was not a very productive day, mainly because I started a little late, I started around 1 p.m. But I got two of the columns in the place. I think these two are the biggest. Get this one in the middle. These two columns are the columns that are going to be in the middle of the house. One of them, this one that is here, is going to be right under the stairs that are going to conduct to the second floor of the house the second level and in that level it's gonna be my bedroom it's gonna be my closet so I will see you tomorrow morning to share some coffee Delicioso. With this autumn of coffee, I'm gonna have the energy that I need for today. And I wanna make sure that the ones that I did yesterday are looking good, so I'm just gonna take these boards out and check if this thing is looking good, if I did a great job, or if I need to do it again. Look at this, oh boy. Oh. So smooth, wow. Check this out. Oh, this is so smooth. This is literally perfectly flat. It's like, wow. Wow, I think I got the technique. I think I got the technique. I just need to put a little bit of extra water in the mix of the concrete and that's gonna make this thing be as good as this one is looking like. Wow, I'm excited to continue doing this thing. That's a new truck. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. I already fulfilled my workout of the day. I didn't run in the morning today because I knew that I was gonna do something like this. So. I paid my quote today. Yeah. And now that I got all this sand and gravel here, I need to shovel it in the concrete mixer. I don't know how it goes in English. That's Jake's. Jake, is that the name? Jake the Pirate? Yeah, that was one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. Ah, wow. Guess what? This thing broke and all the concrete just came out. Wow, oh boy. Wow, I was so immersed in getting this thing done that I didn't realize about the time. It's almost dark now. If you can see, we have the sunset going right now, right there. But I'm not done yet. 
and I'm not gonna stop until I have this thing done. Can you see me here? No, I cannot see anything. It's so dark. It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm just finishing. This week we did a lot of progress. We built um, the bird sphere, we built the stairs up, and we also did six footers. We got all those columns up, they are ready, all set. I just need to do some welding in there and then they will be all done. But I, even that I worked so hard today, um, I, I, I kept going until almost 8 p.m. I still have a lot of energy. I still have a lot of energy. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight or what I'm gonna do, but since I start doing exercise in the mornings, I start running, I start doing some push-ups, um, I just feel all my body is just like a machine. I just need to warm it up and then it just like keeps going, going, going and going. And I'm glad it is like that because if not, I will be dying right now, I'm so tired. But I'm glad it is not like that. So guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for all the good vibes. I love you so much. You guys are the best. And I will see you next week.